Welcome to Outside the Box Reviews, where I mostly review action figures. Mostly. And today we're starting another segment here on the show, kind of combining the last two things I did with the Avengers Movie Countdown and the Predator Week. We're doing Alien Week. Why not? Prometheus comes out at the end of the week. I am hyped to hell. I'm sure anybody across seas, I think, have already gotten this one. But, uh, you know, it comes out in the U.S. the end of the week. I've got a couple Alien action figures I haven't reviewed. I already did the original Alien. I already did the Alien 3 Alien. But I got a few more. So today we are going to be looking at the NECA Aliens Alien Warrior. This figure is released very similar to the other Alien figure, the original Alien figure from NECA, both in very similar packaging, but this one is unique to the second movie, the James Cameron film, and personally my favorite film of the franchise. I know there's a lot of arguing between fans whether the first or the second one is the best, but I always lean towards the second one. But yeah, let's take a closer look at the Xenomorph. I guess the first major thing to say about this figure is, right off the bat, he is a retool of the original Ridley Scott alien figure, which I reviewed previously with the Predator 2 pack that came out a couple years ago. Basically the exact same figure, same torso, but there are a few little appendages on him that have been changed out to make it accurate to the second movie. The first big difference is the head. With the original alien, he had the clear dome you could see the skull through. James Cameron wanted a more stunt head, I guess, basically. So we have the hard carapace on here. It's just a shiny black. There's a brown paint wash over the top of it, or dry brushing, actually. It looks pretty cool. Still a really good representation of the head. Very similar to the Giger work. You still have the wires coming through here. The mouth has all of its membranes inside. He's some blue gums, shiny teeth. There's an articulated jaw. Has a little bit of trouble closing just because of the tongue in there, but the tongue, as with the first one, can be extended out, ready to pop some marines in the head. The tongue on this one's a little better detailed with paint. The other one I had was very just flesh-colored almost, and this has some black detailing on it, and the teeth are painted as well, which is very nice. It gives it a much more of a standout look. I think this one looks a little better with the mouth open. The other one always looked a little awkward to me, the original Alien. This one looks pretty good. I do like the brown detailing on the head. Really cool head sculpt. The body, as I said before, is the same sculpt-wise. The ribs, there's a lot more brown and blue added to this one, giving it a bigger depth of color. The original Alien was more of a black with some brown details for the NECA figure. This one has a lot lighter colors on it, and I like the way it looks. It definitely stands out enough in your collection that it's not going to look like the same Alien twice if you look at it. A lot of bright blue highlight spots back here. He still has all the tubes in the back. He has this thing here, which I really don't like. I don't know if this was in Aliens or not. I really don't remember. I mean, it's kind of hard to get a good look at the characters. But it stops the head from rotating back very far. It would be awesome if you didn't have this. And you could actually put the head back so it would look like he was crawling. He's got his high shoulder pads. You can see the wires peg in back here, they plug in back here, they're permanently fixed in there. Coming down to the arms, the arms have a major change, the hand is done very differently. I, mean, I think the claws in the alien change every movie, so he's got his thumb and then two sets of two fingers each, very long and spindly looking. And then it has this blade going down the side of his arm that connects at his elbow. This is kind of weird seeing as it crosses through two articulation points. It crosses through the elbow articulation and the wrist articulation. That one being the biggest problem because you twist it too much, you're going to twist the whole blade off. It's a little weird that they chose to do that. If anything, I felt like it could have connected here. It really could have just been purely on the forearm, jut out from here and the connect here. It's probably more accurate to have it like this, but I don't think it justifies having this kind of weird piece on here. It could have been done a little better for articulation's sake. I'm sure there are some who probably would disagree with me on that one. Come down, we have the same legs we had before. Same with the paint detailing, as I mentioned. The feet are done differently. You have the one toe sticking way out to the side, one sticking out in the back. It's interesting looking. It's a very strange looking foot. The original alien had very human looking feet, like ballerina feet almost, I always felt. But this is definitely an alien's foot. Same tail with the bendy wire in it. Once again, a good helping of brown paint on it makes it look very nice. Tiny little spike there at the back. 
pretty darn poseable, which is always good. Speaking of which, articulation, as I mentioned before, the jaw moves and the mouth moves. The head is on a ball joint. The arms are on a pin socket so they can go up and down and rotate. Swivel up the upper arm, bend at the elbow, rotate the wrist. Once again, have to be careful about this arm blade. He has a ball jointed mid torso. V cut at the crotch, swivel right above the knee, bend at the knee, and bend at the ankle. Overall, I think the Alien Warrior from Aliens is pretty darn cool. One thing I do have to point out is that he is not nearly as fragile, or I probably shouldn't say this because I'm probably going to jinx myself, but so far in my experience, he's not nearly as fragile as the single carded Alien Alien was. That figure, if you remember me talking about in the other review, the one from the two-pack was pretty good, and you can move his joints pretty freely. But the original one, I got all the joints stuck, and they snapped and broke. And this one is very fluid. Most of the joints move without a whole lot of problem. Some of them do resist a little bit. You just have to be very gentle with them. But it all works out in the end. I've had him for over a year now, and he's been pretty good. So, fingers crossed it will stay that way. I like the updated paint scheme on him. It gives him more color, gives him more vibrance. I prefer the head sculpt on it. I love the Giger dome, but something about Alien, I just like the head sculpt that much better. And honestly, I'm really satisfied with this figure, and I recommend him. I definitely recommend him. But there's a catch. Because NECA's remaking this figure. Which is strange, because NECA doesn't have a tendency to remake figures all that often, no matter how many people clamor for it. I'd love to see some of their old horror figures redone, like the Part 7 Jason redone, and things like that. And they've pretty much resisted. But it turns out later this year we are getting some Colonial Marines and a new Alien Warrior. They said that the sculpting is going to be more movie accurate, better detailed, I'm assuming the paint will probably be on par with that. And supposedly... I don't know if it's all one version or if there's two variants, but you're supposed to be able to simulate battle damage on it and actually remove limbs and have blood or something on it, which could be really cool for building an army. And maybe, just maybe, they'll be poseable enough that you could actually get them into the crawling position, which I would love, absolutely love to have with the figure. But overall, this is a good figure. If NECA wasn't releasing another version of this figure, I'd be totally content with this. Or content enough, at least. It could always be better. It can always have improvements. And I still do stand by my recommendation of it, even though it may change when I see the new figure coming out. But we'll just have to revisit that later in the year when it does come out, and we'll see how my opinion of the two stack up side by side. You know I'll be ready to do a side by side comparison. But that's the Aliens Alien. So stay tuned and we're going to continue on with Alien Week.